What's up my fighters and welcome to Dragon Ball Legends again. My name is Rami the Archer and today my friends we are going to go through the balance change 4 and uh, there is actually some very interesting abilities and very interesting skills that the characters will get. So without any more talking let's just get right into it. So starting up with our first character as you can see it is actually the EX Vegeta the yellow one and uh, basically his overall stats will be increased his defense his attacks and his HP however his the ability increases actually right now at 5 star 22% uh, to both strike and blast defense uh, but it will be increased actually from limit to break 5 star so we will see how much it will increase but uh, overall it is actually defense so I don't think that uh, no matter how much the uh, they increase it actually that it will make that big difference unless you use him with the tank. However, his main ability duration will be increased from 12, 12 counts to permanent. But don't uh, panic because his main ability isn't that good actually. It just increases the key recovery 35%. However, I don't know if it increases if it increases it actually if only for him or for all of the team if it is for all of the team that would be perfect actually if it is permanent but if it is only for him it will be very hard actually to use it so it won't be that useful so moving on to our second character which is actually the sparking super saiyan uh, vegeta the red one and uh, as you can see this character will have actually a very interesting the ability because if you take a look at it it will buff actually the vegeta family tag which is really amazing because finally we, uh, the vegeta family tag will become actually something so we might we might form actually a vegeta family team however one character who buffs the vegeta family tag will not be enough actually to form a Vegeta family team but hopefully I really hope that they would do that with the future characters as well so that we can get actually a usable Vegeta family team like if they add a character like the yellow Goku but this time a yellow Vegeta or a purple Vegeta or whatever <laughs> <laughs> who can both actually the ultimate attacks for the uh, for the Vegeta family team or both them overall both their stats or help them actually synergize with them that would be really amazing and very useful thing because we we actually lack a Vegeta family team uh, in the in the game because we have nearly every other team we have the lineage of evil we have the super saiyan team we have the saiyan team we have the Swan family team we have the female warrior team we have nearly everything actually the only team that we don't have is Vegeta family so let's hope that they will actually add some usable characters that will both actually the Vegeta family team so that it becomes something useful however he will uh, his uh, unique ability assault strike attack up uh, will get both actually so cu currently it increases 20% to the strike damage and uh, it lasts actually for 20 timer count however now they will buff the uh, the uh, strike damage which means that it will increase more and the duration will be increased as well so that's really nice however he will get a new unique ability as we as well which is awakened brutality and we will see what it will do so it will buff the strike arts but we will see how will it buff it and if it will increase the damage more or not as for our third character it is actually the EX first form Frieza the blue one and basically uh, this character will get actually a Z ability buff as well which is actually it will start to buff the Frieza forest from limit to break 5 star however this isn't very useful for PvP but it is a little bit useful for PvE actually because there is some places that you will need uh, Frieza forest characters and when, when you can buff them actually with different characters that would be very good however the special skill arts which immo immobilize uh, the enemy uh, will now uh, cost instead of 35 only 10 that's insane actually that's insane and that would that will be very useful but uh, again i don't think that it will be very useful for pv for pvp it will actually be more useful for pve 
And our fourth character is actually the Sparking First Form Frieza, the blue one or the pod Frieza. And basically this Frieza will get actually the same the ability as the extreme one because he will buff the Frieza Forest team, uh, which is really amazing. But if those are the only two characters who will do that, that won't be actually very useful. There is some useful characters in the Frieza Forest team, but they aren't that many actually. And that's why the, the Frieza Forest team won't be that usable in pvp actually but they are very useful in pve however his special skill which immobilized the enemy again so basically they are the same character but one is sparking and one is actually extreme <laughs> <laughs> and they have the same element as well that's insane anyway his special skill arts uh, range increases the uh, increases from uh, from a short uh, range actually to long range which is really amazing because now you can actually uh, hit your enemy from longer range so that would be useful however uh, he will get actually a new unique ability hover pod which powers up freeze a forest bottle member which is really useful because now if you use actually a freeze a forest team this character will get buffs from uh, the two character the, the two freeze a forest characters that you will use actually together with them which is one of the buffs that i would like to see on the vegeta family too as well and our fifth character is actually the extreme third form of Frieza, the purple one. And basically, uh, this character, I don't know why did they do that, but they actually uh, gave gave it uh, the buff for tag lineage of evil instead of the Frieza forest, which is really disappointing because if they would allow this character as well to buff the Frieza for, uh, forest team, that would be really amazing actually, because we would have got a very good bench for the... Uh, uh, Frieza Forest team however they gave it uh, the lineage of evil team I don't know why but yeah basically it is better than nothing because currently he is actually buffing only the purple characters so that's not very useful actually but now that he will be able to uh, buff the lineage of evil team that would be way better however he will get a new unique ability as well which is assault all costs down which which will reduces actually uh, on arts cost which is really amazing but we will see how much it will it will uh, d reduce actually and if it will has uh, it if it will has actually a time limit or not and our last character for now is actually the sparking android 17 the purple one and basically this character will get will buff now with the, with its z ability the tag android which is really amazing because now the tag android will has more ac more uh, characters to uh, use actually and that would be very useful however his special skill arts uh, barrier can start combos now and applies a buff so that's really insane any special skill art that can actually start a combo can turn on the table in pvp and that's really insane that's very useful and it will help a lot actually and his main ability inflicts all enemies with plus damage received so currently his main ability only draws a special skill actually and now it will it will inflict the enemies with uh, down with damage received which is really amazing because that will help so much so he will draw a special skill uh, use his barrier and start a combo and upon that he will get a buff and he will reduce or he will increase actually the damage received for the enemy which is really amazing because that will make him very very useful in pvp actually and his damage should be way better we will see actually his overall stat as well if it increases a pretty nice uh, increment that would be very useful actually for him and that would make him very very useful character in pvp so yeah basically those are the characters that uh, are going to get buffs there is still uh, two more or four more actually if we are going to count them two extremes and two sparkings so yeah basically let me know your opinion about who is going to get buffs actually more and let me know your opinion about those characters that are going to get buff as well uh, do you like their buffs or do you don't you like them and yeah basically let me know your overall opinion about them and yeah basically with that being said that was everything for today i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy 
subscribe too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it please support me by subscribing my channel so that i can deliver more content with better value for you guys to help you more with dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends